Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at Butlington Minehead, the 2013 Players' Championship. And at the end of the first session on this the Friday afternoon, last game on, Steve Beaton, cracking 6-5 win for 5-3 down against James Wade. Good work, Steve. Oh, yeah, I was glad, glad to get that one out of the way, really. Uh, I played him a few times, and uh, it was nice to get a winner, you know, yeah. for a change. Yeah. So, 5-3 uh, down, where did you pull it out from? Well, it's funny, me, me and James, always, we always had close ones. I mean, I can't believe I come in here seated late. He's 25 and we, we've joined, you know, like sort of match each other again. And uh, I mean, I think I played him last year in the World Championship and it's always sort of gone towards the last leg. And even when I was 5-3 down, I thought I could see this going last leg. And, yeah. you know, it happened to be, you know, my, my turn for a change. Yeah, and the doubles were going in. So uh, tomorrow, where's Newton? Uh, Good record against Wes? Well, I, no, we haven't played that often really. I beat him a few times, he beat me well, probably 50 50. Um, but no, I can't, I can't actually remember the last time I played him. But uh, he, just had a, he just had a little uh, little baby, hasn't he? That's right. So, Delivered uh, himself. Ho so hopefully, he's been up for the last few nights yeah. with a bit of luck. Uh, yeah. But I'll, I'll go and give him a knock later on in the morning anyway. <laughs> yeah, just, that's right. Just to make sure he is Send up. Send the boys ring. Yeah, yeah. Two weeks' time, a couple of weeks' time, we're on to the World Championship. Uh, what do you think? Oh, what a pants in that. I've never, never done very good in that one. Obviously, I won, I won the BDO yeah, one, like, yeah. but uh, I don't know what it is. Even perfectly, I never played very well. Um, so, um, Ali Pali is, is being the same. I, d I don't know. It's, it may, I just I seem to have a good year, but th there is a big break between each game, and it, I think you're trying so hard because that's, yeah. that's the one it's, you want to win. It's, it's you know, and, and I think maybe I'll just try too hard. I think. I've got, I've got to sort of just, I'm a very quick player, but I've got to just sort my own game out and just take my time a little bit and yeah. just, just just try to slow it down when, instead of just slinging without thinking. And uh, that's a little bit what I did tonight. Um, I just actually just slowed down a fraction and, and thought about what I was aiming yeah. at for a change. So in slinging without thinking, I, I'd say probably that there's no better action in the world of darts. I wish I could sling them as accurate as that. So if, if you've always just been, you, you look the most natural player up there. I mean, it looks like you're, it's, nothing's happening, you're just, there I think is. I think every everybody's good at something, you know. I, at school, like, I never thought I'd be a dart player. That was the last thing on my mind, you know. Like, what are you going to be when you grow up? Oh, I'm going to be a dart player, Miss. It was, it was <coughs> never, it was never going to be that, you know. And it, darts just happened to be, you know, something I was good at. You yeah. know, I'd snooker, I play snooker. I'm average, I could play 24 hours a day. I'd never be any good snooker. Football, I was always half decent. Football, rugby, yeah. all sports, I was half decent. But yeah. darts was just just the sport I was. Yeah, that's you know, good. Up. And is that straight away? Did you start off like uh, like most players, like pub to super league to county level, or did you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all used to meet in the pub before we used to go up the town, and uh, it was either pool or darts. So darts was obviously, you know, I was, I was sort of good at darts. And then I started playing for the local team. Then, like you say, super league, mm. and then getting picked for for me county was good, you know, Warwickshire. And then then getting picked for England was, you know, made yeah, made my day. I mean, yeah. that was great to put an England shirt on to represent your country. Is you know he's absolutely brilliant, and uh, I, I don't know how many I'm 30, 40 games I played for England, but that was great. You know yeah. I really loved that, and uh, obviously darts just gone on from there. Really, yeah. we had a bit of a lull one time, and, and it's now it's picked back up again. But yeah. uh, great. So do you enjoy the the, the, the atmosphere in Butlins? Obviously, it's a little bit different being a hol holiday camp. It's all razzmatazz, of course, with the PDC. But do you enjoy this sort of? Uh... But that, that, that's that's the way darts has changed now. You, you, you've got to play with an atmosphere. I mean. You're up there. That, that's the whole point. I mean, the bigger the crowd, the better. You yeah. know, and you know, it's like being in a corner. And you've got to fight your way out. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, it, it's great, really. I mean, you play for the buzz. You know, yeah. if if you're going up there too calm, no shake, you're not you're not enjoying yeah. it. I go up there, and I'm I'm sort of trembling a bit, and and that's how it should be. You yeah, know? yeah. So you don't mind the obviously uh, the atmosphere down there. I mean, I, I it seems like I mean, I just pop there. It seems like the atmosphere. It's, it's, it's bigger than, than last year, and it's only Friday afternoon. We've got the sea. Oh, well, the, the, they're still coming in, so it's going to get be busier and busier. It's the same as start calling your name and start shouting. Yeah. I mean, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you, you can't beat it. You know, I, th I think anybody would love to just get up there. And, okay, the pressure's the pressure's pressure, but it's just get up there and, and yeah. just breathe in that atmosphere. is yeah. absolutely brilliant. And enjoying the ladies shouting out, you still got it, it's still looking good. I mean, we both are, and I know you would have said that by myself. But yeah, uh, I know. Forty, forty next year. I know. Um, it's, uh, sorry, 50, yeah, 50, I was, was going to yeah. say. I know but, my math's um, not good. Yeah, but but just, no, well, 
Oh, I'll, I'll reckon I've got another 10, 20 years left. <laughs> Easy. Do you fancy a quick uh, jog uh, uh, along Minehead Beach? In, yeah, don't mind. Can we get the camera crew if that's okay? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Let's go. Yeah, I'm. Actually, what, now or uh, no. I, I can't. So I've got a few more interviews, right, but right, right. give us, I'll give you a shout. Um, <laughs> should, we, should we have a beer instead? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. So, okay. That's, that's, that's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <Right>. So, <laughs> so, do you think? Uh, I mean, obviously, diets how it's changed uh, with with the. I mean, it's always been been like that. Back because when you were playing, Rizzy, you, you were playing with the likes of of Eric and uh, John and Jockey Wilson and uh, any of those players. Any one that stands out, you think. With, uh, Eric, Eric, Eric was my idol, and, yeah. and I mean, you'd never get any sympathy out of Eric. I've, I mean, if I said to Eric, oh, I left the double and he went out, he said, we shouldn't have given him a chance to go out. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, he went out at one five, we shouldn't have let him have a go one, yeah. one five two. I mean, yeah. that was Eric's answer all the time, don't give him a chance to let you go out. Yeah. And uh, he, he's right, really, at the end of the day, you know, you make your own chances, you know, yeah. and, and you shouldn't be giving them chances to take you out, you know. Yeah, so you've been, that would have been the same England team with, with Eric and... And in, in, in John. Actually, in my first England game, Eric was captain. Oh. And. <laughs> it's a, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he's a bit ruthless, really, when he, he's saying, get up there and win. And you're thinking, oh, God. Right, I, I did win. I actually got man of the match, and we won 12 0. Can you imagine being the only loser with Eric? He, he, oh, he, as, as the captain. He'd have, um, he'd have made you. Uh, Pay for yeah, it, really. that's a cracking side of a good friend of mine, Mike Gregory. I would imagine would have been in that. So. Oh, Mike, yeah, I, was, yeah. I seen Mike not so long ago. He yeah, you do exhibitions and things. Yeah, I seen. He, he's starting to play a bit more again now. He, he's starting to get back into it again, and yeah. uh, he's playing well actually. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he is. Oh, he's a, a natural talent. We love the Mike Gregory snatch. I mean, you, you know, not quite as bad as jockeys. There's though, a few but. good snatches around, isn't there? Really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. um, jockey had a real good, one, didn't he? Really. <laughs> Up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that, Steve. Totally. Now, what we're going to do, if you don't mind, we're raising, or Butlin's uh, chosen charity is the Princess Royal Trust. And we have a guitar, which if you can just bang out a couple of tunes and sign uh, for, for us. Um, yeah. yeah, it's not plugged in, though, is it? No. Sorry, that's no. lucky, then. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Well, Steve's uh, s signing, uh, signing the, <laughs> the, the guitar. Uh, Quick mention that we have a competition uh, running. If you email in to uh, info at uh, tungstentels.co.uk, and if you can answer this question, which players won more players championships than any other? Email that in. We've got seven signed shirts. will be signed by all 32 players here. That'll be absolutely fantastic. My name's Paul Starr. This is the Bronze Adonis Steve Beaton. That's Tungsten Tells, the Sharp End of Diet. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>